What's going on you guys, Zeb here, welcome back to a brand new episode of Clan Wars And today we're going against myself, ZG2.0 Just kidding, that's not me, that's totally a clan that's not related to me in any way But we're gonna win this one because we are so good And I wanna show you guys some replays that are freaking epic Some Tower 8 and Tower 9 So if you guys enjoy this video and wanna see more Definitely smack that like button guys in the face And it's time for the daily shout out <laughs> And today's shout out goes to Gamers Grid. Check out his channel, you guys. He is a YouTuber, 115 subscribers. So check him out, show him some support. And he does a bunch of videos uh, every few days, ranging from Simulator to GTA to FIFA and NFS Rivals and a bunch of other games. So check him out, guys. Show him some support. And Gamers Grid, thank you so much for all your support on my channel. Really appreciate it. And thank you for coming back to my channel, sharing the videos, subscribing, liking the videos, everything. And stay epic. And uh, let's go ahead and watch number four. So Gregor, I actually missed the live attack by seconds. And I want to show you guys the live attack, but I missed it. So we're going to have to watch the replay. So Gregor is using a go wipe, one golem and one golem in clan castle, max golem in clan castle. And that is a pretty good strategy to use for town nines because you get more wizards in your army composition and then you have a max golem. So why not use this strategy? And so he is going in, he couldn't lure this clan castle because this is unlurable base, so he just had no choice but to actually attack. If you can lure the clan castle troops, definitely do that because if you don't kill them in time or if you don't kill them really fast, then you are gonna screw up. But he's using a shopping pack, a strategy with the queen and a few wizards on the side, which is helping because look at this, there's the go away, pi pi go away portion in the middle and... Um, the Queen and the P.E.K.K.A on the side are distracting a few defenses that would be locked onto the center which uh, helps the center stay alive and uh, destroy major building in the core. And if you are not using the strategy then try using it because it does help a lot. Uh, we are starting to 3 star a lot of Town Hall 9s and almost all Town Hall 8s with the strategy and whoever doesn't use the strategy doesn't get 3 stars. So that's pretty much how it works because this strategy is a really one good one. Queen is still alive. Look at that. She's taking out all the defense on the outside. That is perfect. Holy shit, that's a lot of wizards. Oh my, if there's like a giant bomb right here, just watch. Just watch there be a giant bomb. Like right there. No? Okay. <laughs> but that would be so sad to see like 50 wizards die from one giant bomb. And that actually happened a lot in previous wars where people have like 20 wizards go like in a group and then they all get destroyed by one single giant bomb. <laughs> So good job Gregor, another 3 star for our team, really good attack, and Elvis is actually going to be attacking number 3 I think with Goho, really want to see how that works, and maybe he, we can catch him live, maybe not, but he, he did attack it with his second account, got the 66%, and uh, it was because his hogs died with one giant bomb. Let's go ahead and switch to number 14, Drippin. If I can press the freaking replay button. So Drippin is attacking or was attacking with Go Wipe. And he's going to use a shopping P.E.K.K.A strategy once again. So we're going to see how that actually works. So he can lure the Clan Castle troops because it's a Town Hall A. The bases are smaller. As you guys know, do not stack your poisons up because double poisons do not kill Max Dragon if they are stacked up. Uh, and they can kill the dragon if you just use one after another, like he is using right now. So as soon as the first poison goes down, you can drop the second one. There we go, drops the second one. And now he can, as soon as like, like in a second, now he can actually start attacking. He doesn't You don't have to wait until the dragon actually dies, you can just go right away. Uh, if the dragon has like 10% health, just go ahead and attack, he's gonna die anyway. So where is he going to attack? He's going to attack from the right side, double golems, spread the golems a little bit with a bunch of wizards behind the golems to clear some of the buildings before P.E.K.K.A's go in. Make sure your P.E.K.K.A's do not go off to the side. Only one P.E.K.K.A has to go off to the side, everyone else has to go inside, otherwise it will be a fail because if everyone splits, then it's not going to be efficient. And he's using a P.E.K.K.A, shopping P.E.K.K.A right over here, that's a perfect placement. This P.E.K.K.A is getting targeted right away, so... Uh, look at what happens to the wizards in a second. Oh my gosh, freaking wizard tower. Freaking Harry Potter, I hate you. I hate you. But damn, those wizards got freaking wrecked, so... <laughs> Good shopping back and strategy, but didn't, uh, didn't, didn't stay alive for too long. Which is still fine. He's gonna take out at least a few defenses, which is pretty good. And the go away part is gonna go right into the core and destroy everyone. And a lot of people were saying that Town 8 should be using 
dragons or dragloons. I am not really a fan of air attacks as Town Hall 8. Town Hall 9 should be using Lava Lunian, Go Wipe, Go Ho. But Town Hall 8, I don't know. If you can 3 star with dragons or dragloon, definitely go for it. Definitely use it. But personally, I have not seen anyone really 3 star that many people with dragons. And Go Wipe is a guaranteed 2 star. And you can 3 star really easily with a little mo modification like a Shiny Packer or Triple Heal. And. And so use whatever strategy you can to have 3 stars because you gotta get 3 stars in Clan Wars. Clan Wars is not about looting. Clan War is about getting stars and winning and getting your team the victory. So uh, he actually had like a minute I think in the actual attack and he's just gonna rage everyone. Special ability on the king. Get these last defenses out of the way and get the 3 stars and 100% for our team. So good job Drippin. And he's actually saving the attack, the second attack. Because we have a little issue with Town Hall 8 right now. A lot of people are getting 2 star 99%. And that is because people are forgetting the freaking corner hunts. It is so annoying. But like, stop forgetting. Like, get a few archers. Kill the freaking corner hunts. Like, why does everyone forget the freaking corner hunts? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take one more, one more attack. One more look at another attack. Who do I want to show you guys? I have no idea. Just some random attack. Ah, uh, whatever, this one. <laughs> Alex123 going against number 22, my Megal2001. Best name ever. And Alex is using Go Wipe once again. Shock I don't think he's gonna use Shock Vega. Holy shit, those wizards. Um, if you can, don't drop like all of the wizards like he did right now. He did get three stars, but try and save at least a few wizards because you're gonna need them a little bit later. He didn't lure the Concaster troops early on, which he should have done because now they're gonna kill the Golem. Maybe not, but um, at least he killed the Concaster troops. If I was him, I would drop the poison right now, like right on the on the Concaster. Even though there is no more troops, just drop the poison. Just be like MOG poison, MOG. <laughs> so really good attack so far, though. Everyone is going. Look at that. Everyone is sweeping straight through the base at the same exact time. There's a few wizard shopping on the left side, a P.E.K.K.A, a shy P.E.K.K.A with the king on the top, and everyone else in the court going at exact same rate, which is which is really good because all of the defenses are getting targeted and getting destroyed. 73%, a few more percentages, and he is going to get a 3 star. Really good attack though, because Town Hall 8, go wipe is a nice strategy to use. If you can modify it to get 3 stars, then... It will work. And look at it. He forgot corner hunts. So I was actually watching this attack live. And I was like, dude, if you fail, I'm going to smack you for not taking out the corner hunts. Because you had archers. You had freaking archers. But he, at least he didn't have time. At least he had time to take out the corner hunts. So good job, dude. <laughs> A few seconds in the attack. And he did take out the corner hunts. But yeah, that's basically how this war is going so far. So hopefully we're going to win. Pretty sure we're going to win because our team is pretty good. And uh, we have a bunch of Town Hall 9 attacks remaining. So we're going to clean up a bunch of bases. Hopefully uh, hopefully destroy all of them. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video. The, yeah. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and want to see more Daphne Smut. Smut. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, definitely smack that like button it's in the face with your fist. And if you're new, definitely subscribe because you are missing out on so many epic videos. And just because you are epic. And uh, hashtag stay epic. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.